today oh. so her brother Gordy said he would come and do chapel with you all before he goes to school so today we're gonna see Gertie's brother Gordy so um, before we bring Gordy out let's go over our Bible verse for today we love because he first loved us and that is from 1 John, chapter 4, verse 19. Can we say that together one more time? We love because he first loved us. And our Bible story today is all about loving our neighbor. So let's get Gordy, let's call Gordy out to help us, okay? Gordy, Gordy, Gordy! Well, hi, everybody. Hey. Happy Chapel Day. Hey, Gordy, I want to tell you a story about our Bible lesson for this week. Are you ready? Absolutely. One day, one day Jesus taught the crowds of people that he was talking to two really, really important things. The first important thing, the first important thing that... Um, that Jesus said is that God loves us and we are to love God. And the second thing he said, the most important, second most important thing was to love our neighbors. So a man in the crowd stood up and he said, well, Jesus, who is my neighbor? And to answer him, Jesus told this story. There once was a man who was traveling from Jerusalem to a town called Jericho, but on the way some bad men came and they attacked him. They stole all his money and they beat him up. And he was left him just laying on the side of the road. The man said, I need help. Please, someone help me. I'm begging you on my knees. Luckily, a little while later, a priest came along. And the priest saw the man. But do you think he helped him? No. No, he didn't. But, well, wait a minute. Why didn't the priest help him? That's not showing any love. Well, I think maybe the priest was scared. Maybe he thought, uh-oh, what's this? Looks like there's been some trouble. I'm not getting involved. It could be dangerous. There may be robbers still hanging around. They might get me too. I'm out of here. Did, did anyone else come to help? Yes, Gordy, along came a Levite, a religious man. The man was lying in the sun, and he hurt all over. He could barely talk, and he was whispering, Please, please, I need some help. Please, I'm begging you. I'm on my knees. But the Levite didn't stop either. He just kept on going. Well, those are not kind words, and that is not showing love. Did anyone help stop to help the man? Yes, Gordy, someone did. Someone else came along the road, a foreigner, not from that area. He was from a country called Samaria. And nobody really liked the people from Samaria. But um, just because he was from another country and he was from far away. But he saw the man lying on the side of the road and he said, Oh no, someone's in trouble. Um, he is hurt badly. I must help him. So he, met, I said, he said, I'm going to stop the bleeding. And he said to the man, here, come on, can you walk? Let me help you. And he helped him, and he took him to someplace safe where he could be looked after. And he told the people when he left him, I will pay you. Uh, whatever it costs, and I want you to help this man get better. And he paid all the expenses until the man did get better. So that's the end of the story that Jesus told. And um, so what do you think now, Jesus said to all the people? Um, which of the three became a neighbor to that man? Was it the priest who walked on by? No. Was it the Levi who didn't even stop to help? No, but was it the man from Samaria or called the Samaritan? Yeah. Because he stopped and helped him, didn't he? Yeah. He, yes, he did. 
And so he was being a good neighbor. So, um, so the, he, Jesus said to the people, that's what it's like to be a good neighbor. And he told them, go and be a good neighbor to everyone that you see. I get it. Your neighbor can be anyone who needs you. And you can show love to your neighbor by taking the time to be there for them and help them when they are in trouble. That's exactly right, Gordy. You know, Jesus became the Good Samaritan to us. He gave his life for us on the cross so we can have eternal life and we can be saved. So he was the Good Samaritan because he has saved all of us. Wow. I really will try to be a good neighbor. I hope all the boys and girls do too. Well, bye for now, guys. Bye, Gordy. Bye. Have fun at school. Bye. Bye. All right. Now, let's, let's look at our Bible verse one more time. We love because he first loved us. So we need to be good neighbors to all the people that we see. And let's now let's talk to God. Can we bow our heads and fold our hands so we can talk to God? Dear God, dear God, please help us. Please help us to be good neighbors. To be good neighbors. Thank you. Thank you for the gift of Jesus. For the gift of Jesus. Amen. 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 All right. Excellent.